Hi everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Louisa with Lulu C'est La Vie. And in today's video, I would like to show you how I do my hair routine. <laughs> All right, so today I would like to show you how I do my hair. And um, before we go into it, I just wanna tell you what I did because you're gonna see me with wet hair. Uh, so I wash my hair with um, Diva Curl No Poo Original. You guys are probably familiar with this product if you have curly hair. Uh, I just started to, to use this product maybe two weeks ago or a week ago and I really like it. Um, it's, you know, I, I think this line of product is great. It's just the price point is a little high, I think. Um, I like to keep it like around 10 bucks and under for my hair product. Um, and this is a little bit more than that. But I have to admit, it's a really good product. So, you know, it's for you to figure it out. Um, and then, so I wash my hair with that and then I put on the roots, I put the L'Oreal Volume Filler. Um, this is a big bottle I got at Target for like seven or eight bucks and it's been, it lasts me a very long time. I only use this on uh, my roots to give my hair um, of the volume that it needs. And then on my ends, because my hair is, um, you can see I have colors, it has damaged my hair and it is like I have to really really take good care of it and hydrate it as much as possible um, I put this L'Oreal Extra Extraordinary Oil Curl it's a mask and I I leave it on my on my ends like from mid mid length done down I leave it on uh, my hair for the remaining of the shower take care of my body um, you know, for, I don't know, maybe five, six minutes, I'm under the shower doing everything else. And then when I rinse, I rinse everything and I make sure that I leave, I rinse the roots very well and make sure that I just leave a little bit on the tip of my hair. Um, so yeah, so when you see me with my wet hair, this is what I've been doing. Uh, and voila, so let's jump into it. Um, let's review how I do my hair. See you in a second. All right, so I like to start by making sure that my hair is nice and wet. So I'm going to spray a little bit of water mixed with hair conditioner. And it's really like any hair conditioner I have available. I'll just put that in. Um, so yeah, making sure that my hair is nice and wet so I can start styling it. And I'm gonna brush it, detangle everything. Then I'm gonna apply my leave-in conditioner. This one is Garnier Wool Blend Smoothing Leave-in Conditioner. And as you'll see, I will only put it um, on half of my hair from the, mid, from the middle to the end. I am not touching my roots. And here's my volumizer. This one is a Diva Curl Freeze-Free Volumizing Foam Lightweight Body Booster. And as you can see, I only apply it on my roots. Again, making sure that my hair stays wet. This is key for my styling technique. This is key. And then I'm gonna start styling, and yes, I will brush my hair. Um, so the way I like to do it is to hand curl um, the hair that are framing my face, um, just to have a nice defined curl around my face. Um, and in order to minimize the freeze, I have to brush my hair before I hand curl it so that's exactly what I'm doing and let's fast forward through this process because you know it takes a minute or two
then I lock it in with some volumizing foam. to do a little bit in the back so I have also a little bit of you know a few defined curls in the back of my head and then once I'm done I just scrunch every body scrunch 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 scrunching scrunching scrunch crunch and once I'm happy with the final result it's time to diffuse my hair so I make sure that everything is on low uh, low heat low speed low everything I don't want too much heat and I really need the air to be gentle because I noticed that when I put the hair speed on high I get a lot more freeze And then shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Well, just not that much because, yeah, that happens. It hurts my head, but I'm okay. And um, voila, that's the final result. And then eventually I will separate a few locks that got too tangled together and then work on the volume. This part is me um, activating my volumizer, I want to say. Et puis voilà, that's pretty much it for me. Alright guys, this is it for my hair routine. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, again, my hair is very thin. I have um, very thin hair that has very little <clears throat> sorry very little volume and it's been damaged with all the colors that I did which I adore but you know you have to pay for everything right so my goal when I do my hair is to get hydration volume which doesn't always work together you know sometimes when you get hydration um, especially on thin hair and you need to hydrate them you, you kind of put I had to put some heavy products in my hair which kills the volume um, and um, definition so I was able to find the right product after researching on the market a lot um, I I tend to I want to go more towards the all natural product. Unfortunately, those products do not work with my hair in the long run. Um, so towards the middle of the day, my hair will get really, really dry and frizzy. Uh, so I start the day very nice and, and moist and then towards midday, I end up with a big hair thing. It's just a mess. <laughs> so I had to go back to different type of product um, right now I'm very happy with what I have the Diva Curls product although I think they're a little expensive uh, I have to admit they do a great job I mean they, they're great so uh, sometimes you know you get what you pay for uh, and sometimes the product is just not working for you it's for you to try different things and see what works for you uh, if you want to try my technique I would love to see the result. I would love to hear your comments. Um, yes, I know I brush my curls. It's a big no-no, but you know what? At the end of the day, the result is what it is. When I don't do that, I end up with frizz everywhere and it's really hard for me to manage my hair. So this is what I do. Um, feel free to leave some comments. 
and share with me your techniques. I would like to know what you guys do and, and possibly try it and do a video about it. And um, if you like what you saw, like. If you want to see more, subscribe. Um, also, I have a video of my daughter. I did her hair. She has a lot. Her mix is different than mine. Um, so her hair is thicker, she has very defined curls, and um, she has two textures just like mommy, very um, very hydrated and, and thinner to, on, the, on the back part, and thicker and drier on the top, um, which on me looks like much more defined curls and you know all this, and here if I let my hair grow down there, it's just going to be straight hair straight hair straight hair with my daughter she has very defined and hydrated curls down there but on the top here it's very dry and um, it needs a lot more help to get a defined curl so I will link below the video to how I do my daughter's hair and um, yeah stay tuned for more and I will see you guys soon have a good one au revoir à bientôt So yeah, I, I um, and, um, if you want to see more, subscribe. All right, okay. I'll see you guys soon. <laughs> hey, c'est la vie. <laughs>